mentioned something earlier too that was very interesting as far as like um you know like with entrepreneurship um and, you know we talk about that a lot on this show um just because we're kind of like naturally that but i do think there's some, something that i've personally been thinking about a lot is like you know there's there's kind of this sense that oh like if you work in the corporate side of things like you're like in jail or something you know what i'm saying yeah. it's like I, and to me it's like there's so there's so many different ways of like you know having a quote unquote nine to five especially in this era this post-covid era of like everything sure. is remote and all or like a lot of things are remote so there's so many different like there's so many different ways that it looks like to have that kind of like high earning income you know what I'm saying? And I think more people should explore them. You know what I'm saying? Because like you, the, the thing about me is like, I want freedom of time and I want freedom of finances. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, there's, there's, there's different ways that you can get like that. There's a different, there's different ways that you can get that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if you have, if you can find yourself one of these tech sales positions where, like you said, you're working less on a regular basis, but you're making more consistently it now frees up your time to one you're not worried about like uh you're just not so worried about money because i think that's another thing sometimes like we spend a lot of our time just worrying about money like even if we have a job if it's not enough money that we're making then we're still worried about the money yeah and then that's that leads to us you know taking extra shifts uh trying to work overtime trying to pick up a side job or a side hustle or something like that it's because the financial part is still you're just, you're still not free from that you know what i mean yeah. and i think people equate financial freedom to entrepreneurship and it's not because like if you're an entrepreneur and you're not uh you know you're not running one of these companies like an ftx that's getting a lot of money like you know brought in then you're doing a lot of fucking work just to make you know a regular yeah full-time income you right. know what i'm saying like yeah. entrepreneurship i don't think people i mean i'm sure people do talk about it but like you have to work so much harder than the person who's working a nine to five you know what i'm saying yeah. like so yeah. much harder you know what i'm right. saying so yeah. i think i think sometimes there's this but yeah you're in control the thing about the thing that people you know get off on is the fact well you're in control of your own time cool but like all of your time it goes to putting in work for the business or you know what I'm saying or putting in yeah. marketing or you know yeah. planning forecasting it's a, it's a trade off it's a trade off you know what i'm yeah. saying so yeah. like what you said just kind of like made me think like damn no that's a good point like you can find your you can find a position it's going to take some time and it's going to take some you know maybe you'll have to stack some skills for a little while you have to do mm -hmm. the things that you have to do on your end but you could find yourself a situation where you can make good money and still and not have to give up all your time you your know what time. i'm saying because that will that will kind of free up your mind and your and your abilities to do other things you know yeah. so i, thought I that saw was a meme. I, yeah i agree with you sorry to cut you out of me too no no, no i was done there's a meme you that says meme? um yeah and it's like it's like one of them little videos and it's like when I quit my job to stop working nine to five and now I work 24 seven to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're is. like drawing the clown the, face on. The biggest, um, the biggest finesse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the biggest finesse. Um, I certainly think there is, you know, something great about entrepreneurship and I, I encourage it to the people who, who have that, you know, who have that. I do right. think that a lot of us um, have the ability to use our nine to five to fund our business, right? When we want to mm -hmm. get there. But um, it's it's hard work from what I'm hearing and seeing, right? You work 24 mm -hmm. by seven. You don't have that cushion. There is no PTO, right? There is no, yeah. oh, I don't feel like going in today and I'm just going right. to make money right now. It, it's not like that. And guess what? Mm -hmm. If somebody fucks up at my job right now, guess there goes, there goes their ass under the bus. Somebody's going to roll it over them. If somebody fucks right. up at your company, it's your responsibility to fix it. It's not, oh, Brooke didn't do what he was supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It doesn't matter that Brooke didn't do what he was supposed to do. It's your responsibility, Mac, to make it happen. Yeah. So not that I think Brooke wouldn't do what he's supposed to do, for the record. <laughs> but um, like it, there, there, I think there are a lot of things. And I think it's really important to have those, those candid conversations. Like I said, that equitable, back to that equitable access of information, right? We tell people about entrepreneurship and we don't give them like, full visibility all into all that it entails. Right, yeah. And then people right. feel like something's wrong with them. 
um, if they don't have what it is. Right. Yeah. Or, or if it isn't working out. Um, and I think it's different strokes for different folks. So yeah. um, if you can be an entrepreneur, great. Shout out to Black people and Black wealth and, and building it on your own. We certainly need that. There's a place for that. Um, but if you're making a coin with your nine to five, you're doing you're doing just fine, right? Or if you're not making a coin, right? If you're happy doing what you're doing. Um, yeah, you feel that's, that's that part. Early. Early.